Hey gold enthusiasts, imagine you're out in the wilderness surrounded by rocky terrain, and every minute you're there, it's costing you money time is ticking, and the pressure is building because if you're not finding gold you're burning. Cash that's the dilemma Dave Turin faces. Every day in his relentless quest for gold, so what's the solution when every second counts you innovate? And that's exactly what Dave's doing with his latest venture building a revolutionary mobile prospecting plant let's dive into. It picture a massive gold wash plant, but on wheels yep you heard that right, Dave's got a bold idea design a portable prospecting plant that can move rapidly from site to site letting him get in test the ground and decide if there's gold worth chasing faster than anyone else in the game. But here's the catch. He's only got five days to get this beast of a machine up and running talk about pressure right. Dave's no stranger to impossible timelines when you're chasing, gold being one step ahead is everything. So to turn his vision into reality, he's teaming up with his trusted mechanic. Juan Duan's been through the fire with Dave before pulling off last minute. Miracles to keep the dream alive. But building a prospecting plant on a 20 feet. Trailer in just a few days even for them. That's a tall order the plan is to create a self-contained wash plant that can process a yard of bulk sample in just six minutes all while being compact. Enough to fit onto a standard trailer picture. The this a 10-ton hopper feeding into a powerful trommel with a detachable tailings conveyor hanging off the back. It's not just about function but efficiency if they can pull this off. Dave's crew will have a major edge in one of the most competitive gold fields out there, but as the deadline looms it's clear Dave needs more help cue Nathan. Clark, an old friend and a master mechanic with Nathan's expertise, the pieces start falling into place. This is going to change the game, Dave says. Watching his vision come to life, Nathan immediately dives into the project. Welding and fitting parts like clockwork. And just like that the trailer begins to transform into a prospecting powerhouse. Yet just when things seem to be on track, a snag hits they've secured a second-hand trommel that's perfect except for one tiny problem. It's two feet too long for the trailer you can almost hear the collective groan. But Dave's not one to back down from a challenge, we'll make it worse work, he declares the solution. Shift the entire structure forward cut. Some pieces here weld some there, it's all about squeezing every inch of space. From that trailer, finally after days of sweat welding sparks and late night. Problem solving the mobile prospecting. Plant now affectionately named the beetle is ready to roll, but will it run? As well as it looks, there's only one way to find out, let's fire it up, Dave shouts. And the team holds their breath water, flows the TRL start spinning, and they load the first bucket of dirt. The whole thing hums to life processing rock in sediment like a dream. The beetle is doing exactly what it was built for tearing through 12 yards of dirt an hour and leaving no gold-bearing gravel. Unturned the excitement is palpable this is our future, Dave says grinning Arto. Ear this little machine could be the difference between a successful season. And missing out on the gold altogether for Dave, it's more than just a piece of equipment, it's the key to staying ahead of the competition, letting him test more ground faster and land those critical deals that others won't even see coming. So what's next for Dave and his trustee? Beetle hitting the road finding the gold, and proving to everyone that when you're willing to innovate you don't just keep up you lead the pack, and hey with a beetle in his corner Dave Turin's about to show the gold mining world just what it means to prospect like a pro get. Ready folks the rush is on.